How's it going, all you Pixelmon party people? I'm back on the Pixelmon server, and finally, finally, guess who I got to get on with me today? Hello, <coughs> are you there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm back. here. Well, first off, I would like to like to say that um, I, from the last episode, we saw I evolved Haunter. my Ghastly into a Haunter, Haunter, and today, finally, is the day that we are going to get him to the Gengar, but that requires a trade, so I got to go trade Daniel a Pokemon and then trade it back for him to evolve, so that's what we're going to go do right now. Heck yeah! Also, um, if you see down below my Charizard on my list on my team, I have a Nidorino, and that's from when I caught that Nidoran male. He evolved into a Nidorino, so now right away, I have a Moonstone with me, and we're going to evolve him, too, to the Nido King. And you can see Daniel walking around right over there. Uh -huh. Oh. Here we go. But, yeah, man, I've been having a blast. Daniel's been working on on uh, our... Can, our... I, can I talk about that? Yeah, or, go or... ahead. Yeah, go ahead and talk about that. If, if you guys love Pixelmon, and if you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what's it called? And, uh... I don't know if we know, but we play on a server, a uh, vanilla server, and there needs to be a mayor in, yeah. in the, our town or whatever. And yeah. so I'm running for mayor, and Sean's my VP, or VM, I mean. Yeah, vice mayor. And so if 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 you uh, could uh, vote for me and Sean, it'll be, it'll be greatly appreciated. And uh, I don't know, just watch my campaign bi uh, video. Yeah. He, he put out a little campa campaign video. I did not help with that. I was totally unaware of it, and it, <laughs> it made me laugh, so I think you guys will enjoy it. But here, yeah, Daniel, what you're going to do is, do you have a Pokemon on you? Yeah, I have four. Okay, so then I'm going to trade you my Haunter. Oh, wait, wait. Um, let me uh, take off what he what he has on him. I'm going to trade you my Haunter, and then, and then I'm just going to trade you right back. So I'm in here ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade you right back. So hit ready, and trade. Is it evolving for you or no? Not yet. What hunter is evolving? It's evolving, and then you yeah. gotta throw him out. Oh, uh, did I throw him out? Okay, so or... did he evolve already to Gengar, or is he still evolving? Oh, Gengar! Nice. Now retrieve him and then bring him back into the trade center, and we'll take a look at him. On camera, because I can't, I can't see the evolve process on camera. All right, do you want me to trade him back? Yeah, yeah, just trade him back to me. All right, go right ahead. Yeah, that's this is what we've been waiting for. So this is great. You gotta hit ready. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Let's uh, let's take a look at him. Gengar. Gengar. Look at him, and he's got uh, he's got hypnosis on him. He's actually got. I caught a Ghastly that was really good. Like, I caught him when he was a Ghastly, not a Haunter. But he's got Hypnosis, which puts him to sleep. Lick, which does damage and also par can paralyze them. Confuse Ray, which confuses them. And then I have a really, really powerful uh, Dark Move, which is a Sucker Punch. So I love having Gengar. And also, I want to show you something, too, Daniel. Come stand in the middle and toss out toss out your lowest Pokemon. What, what the fuck? Yeah, just toss him out. I want to show you something cool. Oh, uh, he's fainted. They're all fainted. Well, all right, we'll, we'll then real quick, real quick, I'm going to evolve this, my Nidorino, real yeah, quick, into a... There we go. Huh? Nidorino is evolving. Let's see, let's see. Oh, he's running around, whoa! Crazy guy. You're evolving, man. Look at him, he's all up in the trade machine. He doesn't want me, he wants to be traded. Come on, bro. Oh, Nido King! Can you see him? No, not anymore. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take him out. I think I know what he looks like. I like to see him. Oh, yep, I remember him. Let me see if I can ride him. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, you can ride basically any any Pokemon in third in its third phase, ex um, except for like a couple. Also, I don't know if I showed you this, but I got an Eevee, Daniel. I'm trying to get him. Yeah, I'm trying to get yeah. him to an Umbreon, but man, it's really hard because he's got to he's got to be at a happiness of of 220. Right now he's at a happiness of 162. I'm getting him up there. Oh, it's crazy. But yeah, throw out your lowest Pokemon, your lowest level. 
Okay, now check this out. I got right. a Scyther. Okay, now look. Look at this move I'm going to do to him, right? He's a level 10. Yeah. He's at 1 HP. Even okay. if, if I hit him again, look at this. If I hit him again... He's at 1 HP. This... That is really good to have. And then here, yeah. I'll, just, I'll just... I'll just uh, hit him with something else too, so we can finish this. But that's really good to have if you want to catch a Pokemon. So, on the next... After this... Me and you are going to go burn down the jungle right next to our place, and we're going to look for a Mew. How does that sound? That sounds great. Yeah, the next time, yeah. And the next, yeah, right after this. And th we're just ending this episode right now, or at least this part of the episode, with a battle. Yep. I'm waiting, Daniel. you got to choose something. Oh. Well, motherfucker, you, you, you yeah. changed the Pokemon, man. I can't. I I, he, he's my lowest level. There you go. I, I want to keep him somewhat low so that, I mean, you want to fight my Gyarados, let's go ahead. Yeah, bring out the big gold. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah. He's 51. And I just killed a green boss and got a psychic TM, Daniel. I got a psychic TM. Can you believe that? Put that right on, uh, on, um, what's it called? Put that right How do you on know Mewtwo. And then, whew. How do you know, um, they're, uh, bo boss? Because they're colored, oh, and their name is colored, and they are slightly tinted that color. And okay, I, I, okay, now I know what you're saying. I've, I've seen, yeah, I've seen some Pokemon. Those are good because they drop loot, and that's where you could get a potentially a Master Ball, which would be, which is really good. So, yeah, that's. Oh, you what can't I, make Master Ball. That no, you can't make one. Uh, Not uh -huh. yet, at least. Or I think before when this game first came out, you were able to, but not anymore. I don't know. But yeah, that's about it, guys. So we're just going to end the video or at least end this part right here. Yeah. And we'll come back to you when we're ready to be our good pyro selves. Right, Daniel? Mm-hmm. All right. Bye. Hey, just give me the countdown. No, you do it. I know. Just give me a countdown. That's all. Just in, Three, in Spanish. Two, dos. <laughs> uno. All right. Welcome back, people. Uh... So another episode of Pixelmon. Um, I haven't played in a while, so I'm like playing. ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sean. Uh, but um, we're here with Caleb. Um, he's the yep. owner of the server. So let's be good, Sean. Okay. okay. <laughs> good behavior. We're not gonna burn down the jungle. <laughs> Just kidding. We're gonna burn down the jungle. The whole jungle. Right. The whole jungle. <laughs> And what's that for, Sean? We're going to catch ourselves a Mew. Both of us. Me and Daniel. Oh, yeah. Let's see that. All what? Both today. <laughs> yeah, right. There's going to be two Mews there. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go, and we're not going to spawn them in. They're just going to be there. All right. All right. Caleb, why don't we hop up on our red glasses, Daniel? You oh, can just oh, gosh. follow us on foot. Bring, just I kidding. I bring mine. <laughs> I always have mine on me because uh, the boss is, you know, higher level. So. Yeah. I didn't really think about that Rayquaza could actually fly. <laughs> oh, that's that's the first thing I always check whenever I catch like new yeah. large Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, how? Where's the jungle? It's over here. I thought we were in the jungle. We're in a swamp. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I knew that it could fly, but I forgot some reason. Oh man, Daniel. Oh, here it is, right here. It's kind of over to the the right a little. The only thing with the Rayquaza and the flying is that you take damage when you get off. Hmm. Because, you know, he's super, super tall. Yeah. His hitbox is weird. Well, we can uh, test out this new thing in the update where it supposedly says when a legendary is spawned. Like, does it, like, it, the text pops up, or? Yeah, it's supposed to say, Pixelmon, a legendary has spawned, and then it tells you the biome. I mean, I mean, it's only going to spawn in, like, a, oh, shoot, like a biome we're in, right? Because, I mean. Yeah, true, yeah. All right. Because most of the spawns are here anyway. Yeah, so just. Start burning. Start burning. Get <laughs> get Pyro happy. Um Pyromania. A, yeah. It's uh the Pokemon is it Lu Luigia or Lugia? Oh, I forgot. Lu the. Like Lugia or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The like the white bird is it, right? Yeah, I think so. Is that is that in this version? No. They did uh, add some Pokemon though. 
They added mm. some. Yeah, in the update. It's yeah. cool. They're uh, supposedly updating to 1.7 soon. Oh, nice. Brand new biomes, but probably yeah. a lot more diverse Pokemon. Spawns. Yeah, they're supposed to add a lot more. That's cool. Uh, I was I was going to ask you, there's a... Oh, no, that's not a me. I got freaked out. <laughs> uh, there, was, there was this... Uh, oh, shoot. I'm on fire. Ah! Oh, there's ah. a Beldum here in the jungle. Beldum? Yep. Oh. Yeah, build them. Are you gonna? Are you trying to catch build them to get what Metagross or? Uh, I would like to, but they're like three percent catch rate. Yeah, they have like a legendary status catch rate. Yeah. So that's why I, I saw one of David Brown's episodes, and he oh, just, yeah. whew, took him a while <laughs> on the the Pixelmon Survival Island. Yeah, that's a really cool series. Well, anyways, for the I was I found this Daniel. Do you remember what it's called? This the weird water Pokemon. Oh, oh, the the shoot. clam chowder. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, the actual name. I don't know. <laughs> it's What's the it purple, called? purple clam or something. It's like not a the cloister? name. A cloister? I don't know. No shell. Shelter. Shelter. Sh yeah, yeah, there something. we go. Yeah, I caught one of those because I guess it, it's it can turn with the water stone. It turns into that. I don't know, funky looking dude. Does it turn into a cloister? I don't know. Turns I really into, don't know. Turns into something. And I'm I was like, like oh, maybe I have a water stone. Water stones are easy to get. Might as well just Yeah, they really are. Yeah. I don't know if it's any good, though. If it's a cloister, cloister is pretty good. It's a water ice. Water ice. Mm -hmm. That might have been what... Yeah, that might have been what it is. Because it's kind of what it looks like. An oyster. I think it is because Nathan caught a shelter, and I'm pretty sure he said that he wanted to evolve it to a cloister. Oh, yeah. Well, I fought a boss one time, and it gave me a, a water stone, and plus, you know, like I said, water stones are not too hard. Oh, man, yeah. all this fire. Whew, it's lagging. Yeah, I'm getting some lag. <laughs> Whoo. <clears throat> oh, I'm on fire. Ooh. So, how many Pokemon do you guys have? Like, how much? Don't even get me started. Just <laughs> I have, like, a box full. Yeah, oh, I, uh, mine, mine fills up, like, the... Actually, yeah, I think just the bottom row on my the f on my first page on the box is full, that's it. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know, everybody wants the point to be, like, catch them all, but there's some Pokemon I just don't really want to catch. Yeah. Yeah. I catch ones that I don't know about, and then I research them later, or, yeah. like, that's, that look like they might be good, and then other ones, it's like, like, Squirtle and Charmander, I wanted the first the version of them, I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, I think that. it's more like I want to get them all in my Pokédex, and you can just right-click on them with it. Yeah, I've been I've been doing that, but I've also been forgetting sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I have mine on me, but I never use it. This is a pretty big jungle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's why I liked it. I was like, yeah. oh, big jungle, more chance to spawn, right? The one by our house was huge too. Yeah, I was in there. Oh man, I've been in there so much. <laughs> One time I was, I just like stayed there on my Charizard flying around for, I don't know how long, like an hour. Man, ugh. There's like, the best thing to do is like to, f is fly like that and then like fly up until it doesn't say the biome anymore in F3. Okay. And then go, and then go back down and it'll respawn all the Pokemon. Okay, I'll have to try that when, yeah. we, when we burn this place. Yep. If you got, if either of you see a Mew, shout it out. <laughs> All right. And, you know, yeah. and then, I mean, you guys can try to catch it. I just want to film it. Yeah. Ah! If I find one, I'll let you guys get it. I already got one with really good moves. <laughs> oh well, thank you. What kind of what kind of moves can I learn? Psychic or any move? You can learn. I think it used to be able to learn any move. Now it can learn almost every move. And Mewtwo can learn any move, right? Yeah. Okay. Like mine knows Dragon Claw, Thunderbolt, Psychic, and Scald. Ooh. Don't want to mess with you. <laughs> oh, dude. I, ah, uh, yeah. We, we battled the other day and I, without red clauses, and, ah, uh, I mean, I just couldn't handle that Mew. I, I took out every single yeah. one of his Pokemon and I had three left and then his Mew took them all out. Yeah, you would have <laughs> beat me. <laughs> I thought about taking it out because I didn't know if it was really fair or not. But... No, no, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, I got, we got to know what we're up against, so, you know. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I didn't have my Umbreon or, you know, with me or on me, so now I even have a couple extra that will work. And then you want to get a Dragonite, right? Or did you get one? I no no no. I got the Dratini, the and then Dratini. I'm just slowly evolving my Dragonair. It's not top priority right now. Just you know. Dragonite's pretty sick. It's really good against water types. I thought because I thought it was water type. No, Dragonite is dragon. Uh, dragon, yeah. Well, what about, well, <laughs> dragon isn't the, the isn't the Dratini? Dratini probably is water, yeah. And then the Dragonair is water too. Probably water dragon, yeah. So then, so, is that something I wouldn't want to ev like evolve like, or? Well, I just know Dragonite's really, really good. So I should. Like, All right. Yeah, I get. I don't know, like since I'm the water gym leader on my <gasps> public server. Oh, blue, blue boss Voltorb, taking oh, that. Nice. Right, he, what like, level is he gonna be now? People always bring the Dragonites to my gym and they just destroy me. Eighty-four, on the level. Let's hope for oh ancient power is good on my Rayquaza. What it's a blue boss? Yeah, blue boss, ten levels above. Hmm. You might get a master ball. <laughs> I know. I hope. Have you guys got an XP share or lucky eggs yet? No. Premier ball. Dang. What the heck is that? <laughs> uh, I used one to catch something the other day. Trick room. What the heck is trick room? I think it sucks. <laughs> Most TMs do suck though. Well, and uh, I got, I also got Solar Beam. I Solar Beam's pretty good, I think. What kind of, what type is that? I think it's normal. Is it, what color is it? It's, it's like the, the green, not like the bug green, the, the, the green with the bluish tint in it. It might be like poison or something. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. That is the color of the poison jab one. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Hey, uh, you you guys seen the first Pokemon uh, movie? Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Is I, that the one with Mew, right? If I did, yeah, I seen one with Mew in it, at like when I was at the Boys and Girls Club, they would always show that. I really don't remember them. Like, I had to like go back and watch them on YouTube and stuff. Yeah. I remember what happened was they found a Mewtwo that they couldn't do. Like, it was just wrecking them. Oh yeah, yeah. More, and then they and so they had to find Mew, and Mew is, is the only is one because he can Mewtwo transform Mewtwo to Mew. Here, yeah. Mewtwo is on. That's what you told me, right? Yeah, it's in the Extreme Hills. Uh, it, but I I was watching David Brown. He said it had to be coded into the game. Is that still that was true? an older update? It's okay, fine now. So it so it will will spawn. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's rare. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it, I thought Mew was the rarest, but apparently Mewtwo is one out of ten thousand. Holy crap! And That's... Mew's only one out of fourteen hundred. I mean, Mew is still pretty rare. <laughs> what happened on their server was they coded it in, but I think they turned the spawn up because David found like ten. Yeah, he's, he's oh crap. Seen, uh, but I mean, how how much does he play though? Yeah, I but, don't know. I don't know. And and the way he does it, he does it right too. On how to find it, but yeah, how you know how often does he does how does he do it? You know, I'd imagine he probably sometimes just you know does it a lot. <laughs> Goes on yeah. just to do that, maybe. I, don't know. I feel bad for him. They're like gonna restart that server, and he had all those legendaries. Whoa, they're gonna restart it? Yeah, they're like gonna do season two, and they're supposedly getting rid of all their Pokemon. Oh, well, I've only seen a couple episodes, but. Yeah. Oh, well. I think it's because they had new people join late, like yeah. Wuffles and Preston, and they're wanting to give them a better chance or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, either way, I mean, I, I still think David's a pretty good trainer. Have you been watching yeah. P Pixelmon Island? Yeah. Man, that that would be a map I would want to get. Do you know That's if they're, they're going to release it? I hope they do. It looks awesome. Yeah. That whole gameplay seems cool. Yeah. How they're doing it. I, I, I like the whole not having to worry about like the, the, I guess the health and hunger part of things, and yeah. you're, you're you're strictly training, and and then the Pokeballs not having to make them, having to buy them, yeah. gives you a reason to kill lower level Pokemon and stuff. Yeah, it's a fun adventure map. Mm -hmm. I was considering changing my public server to adventure, but a lot of people didn't want me to. That Why? play, I don't know. I was like, it'd be easier for you. <laughs> yeah, just catch train, catch train. Yep, I'm out of flint and steel now. I have some. 
Okay. This is the lot has been burned down. Let's see. Whew. Man. Cool. Yeah, like this spot right here, there will be some good spawns right here because it's wide open. Yeah. And, and mainly just being able to see without having to fly over and around all, a whole bunch of trees. That's yeah. That'll help more than anything. Mm -hmm. I think. Oh. I always I always get the leaf shards no matter what. I don't know why. So yeah. Whatever. Might as well. I don't think there's very many that can take it. I mean, like the leaf on yeah. And you get an executor with it. Yes, I saw that. But executors don't they spawn naturally too? I don't think they do. I don't know though. I only yeah. seen executes. Cause I've seen I've seen the bigger version. It's it's like a palm tree with some eggs on it or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen a couple of those spawn. Oh, uh, then yeah. So I I was like, well, I mean, I guess for moves you wouldn't want to, but I thought that was a red boss, but it was a like gloom. Oh, gloom! Yeah, glooms <laughs> in the jungle. Sometimes they freak me out. They they hide in the bushes and I don't see them, and then. They talk. Yeah, we tested something out on the public server. We uh, did. Uh, we were using World Edit, yeah. and we like uh, removed the whole floor of the jungle, so like it destroyed everything, all the leaves and stuff. Yeah, just to see if we'd get better spawns, but we really didn't get any spawns. Cause there's no no grass. I guess I don't know if. I guess they can't. Jungle Pokemon can't spawn on stone or something. Yeah, it, it's a lot of Pokemon can only spawn on grass. That's probably why then. <laughs> that jungle by our house has a lot of ravines in it. It's weird. Oh, I also noticed like the jungle by your house kind of wraps around a lot. And yeah. Kind of connects, I guess, with a couple other little jungly parts, I guess. And oh, is that an Eevee? Might as well catch it, right? And yeah. then, uh, and then, oh man, my dad's talking to. <laughs> And then, oh shoot, I get out of my way, Gloom. And there was like a Poke Center in there, uh, a Health Center kind of near it, and then yeah. over even more, there was one of those, I guess, a, a different type of Poke Center, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> it was it was kind of weird, but... There's like, there's like two-story Poke Centers in the snow biomes. Well, on I started up a single player and I was in a I was in a jungle biome and there was a jungle one. Yeah. Like a, a jungle uh Poke Center and that was pretty cool. That was I don't think I've seen two one story yet. as was it? well. Yeah. Dango, two story. Dango. Um it, it's covered it the doorway is actually blocked by some some jungle wood. Oh yeah, yeah. Dango. Yeah, I've seen them blocked by wood most of the time. Alright, let's see if I can Catch this Eevee. Dang Should I use a friend ball? No, I mean, I have the only ones that really require happiness, right? Yeah. It's dusk. So you Dang had, God. did you, you got a Jolteon, right? Yes, but I mean, I got, uh, you saw, it, it was a level 45 Eevee yeah. when I evolved Dang it. So. If you can get Thunderbolt TM, that'd be pretty sick for it. I think I had one before the, before the, the update thing happened. But I got uh, so yeah. many, I got so many more good ones that I, I didn't even care. I might actually have an extra one. I'm not sure though. Yeah, Thunderbolt uh, plus my Raichu has Thunderbolt that I have. Oh yeah. I mean I don't use him, but <laughs> might yeah. as well try a nest ball now because he's so good. Come on, Eevee, get him a ball. I don't want to waste him on you. What but, kind of Eevee do you want now? I mean I would just. What's better out of the ones that are left, like Glaceon, uh, Vaporeon? Oh, I caught him. Uh, I don't really know. Like, I've only really used Leafeon and Vaporeon. I've never used, uh, I don't even, what's the fire one called? Uh, Flareon. Yeah, Flareon. Flareon, whatever. I've never worked with them, so I don't really know. I think Glaceon's supposed to be pretty good, though. Uh, so, in your opinion, is Leafeon pretty good? I like it, because I, I just like I don't know. I just like it, <laughs> but it's pretty good. It Is it a some grass good. type or? Yeah, it's grass. All right. What are grass type good against? They're good against water. Water. Oh. But if a water Pokemon knows ice, it's it'll just destroy you. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. 
But and crossbow. fire is super effective against it too. Oh. Yeah, but against mm -hmm. grass, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, like vapor wind's pretty good too, but it's just an, there's so many water types it's kinda of pointless. That is true. And then the Flareon, that's fire, but there's a lot better fire ones, right? Than yeah, just... I mean, yeah, true. Like, you can charge is better than that. Yeah, all right. I guess, uh, right now on my, my six that I have now, I don't have a fire on me. Fire oh, Pokemon. yeah. I don't, I don't think know. I have any fire. I, find, I just find that for the, what fire is good for, there's mm -hmm. other choices. Like, it's yeah. a, I don't know if it's really worth it. I mean, I was using Charizard because he was a flying Pokemon, and I could I could just ride around on him. But now that I got my Rayquaza, I get to yeah. fly, fly in style. So, well, what all is fire good against other than grass? I think that's about it. I mean, other well, your, than your flamethrower was beasting my water Pokemon. Yeah, but I also I think I have like I got like three other flamethrower TMs, and I could just put those. I mean, I guess I could get a Flareon and put it on that, but. <laughs> Well, no, I, I mean, know. I have I have flamethrower on. Do I have it on my Mew? I might have it on my Mew, but I have it on my Agron. That's good to put it. Yeah. I mean, if I get a Mewtwo and a Mew, then I can just split, you know, the best TMs between yeah. them. And yeah, I, sure. I, I have, I think I have two Psychic TMs now. I don't know if I got two or if I only got one and I'm thinking of a different one that had, like, yeah. Psych in the name. It, like, Psyshock, but it might have Psychic to begin with when you catch it anyway. Oh, then that's good. What does Psychic do? It's like 90 damage and 100 accuracy. I think, I don't know if it confuses. Let me look. Oh, no. Okay. It just reduces the target's special defense stat. Special defense, oh. But it does 90 damage, so. 90 damage, dang. <laughs> and 100 accuracy. So it never misses, or it'll still miss sometimes? It misses sometimes, yeah. I don't get that. Sometimes it'll have... It never misses, and sometimes they have it. I mean, some reason the hundred misses sometimes. I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess it doesn't miss unless maybe the opponent uses some sort of yeah special like or yeah. stat loop. Mhm. Mm that fire trick is still working on these Pokemon. They're still taking damage. Yeah, they were supposed to patch that a while ago. Oh well, find a Mew. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna. I thought that was a Mew. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> it was a trainer. A little midget trainer. Go kill him now. Yeah, I should. Piece, piece of crap. That's happened to me before. I thought the trainer was Mew. All right. Dang. So I guess I guess I could try to get a Leafy on. With my yeah. With my stuff. I think Glaceon, you'd have to find one of those big rock things, too. Yeah, yeah, you do it by one of those ice rocks, mm -hmm. which, I mean, it's not that hard. Go to any any ice or any taiga biome, and it's right there. There's a whole bunch yeah. of them. I mean, I saw a whole bunch flying around. Okay, well, right. we've got most of this jungle. Right. I mean, <sighs> so then you look around, and you see a whole bunch more. Yeah. We're going to wrap it up. Wrap it up. Um... I mean, I guess no, nothing exciting happened, and then <laughs> I, I guess if we catch it, if we see a Mew within the next, we'll, you know, the we'll times that know. we're playing right now, we'll jump back on and let you guys know. But other than that, we're just gonna be on our way. See you guys yeah. when we see you next. Uh, yep. Bye. See. Ya. <laughs> Here we go again.